Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my final video on Season 4 before my review tomorrow. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so super excited for tonight's finale. I just got back from the Ultimates in Birmingham. It's so much Supergirl. Literally, all of you guys were so awesome. I love taking photos with some of you that were actually at the event, and it was really cool. And also, seeing Kyla, I got a photo with Kyla and Nicole Maines, and it was just so awesome to actually get to meet them again in real life. Like, I haven't met Nicole before, and that was amazing to see her. And, like, i seen Matt Ryan before, and i seen Floriana and Kyla last year, but I didn't get to actually speak to Kyla, but I did this year, so that was super exciting because, you know, Alex is one of my favourites of all time in DCTV. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this, and everyone was buzzing. By the way, all the actors like Nicole and Andrea, who plays Eve on the show, they were hyped for it, so I'm technically definitely even more hyped because they were buzzing about it today and the last few days. Okay, so let's quickly go over this synopsis for the finale, and the finale is titled The Quest for Peace, which is a reference to the old Superman film, which is actually supposed to be the worst Superman film, like, ever made. I haven't watched it. I don't really, really want to watch it because of its reputation for being apparently that bad, so... Yeah, it's a reference because John Cryer was in that film and he obviously plays Lex, but he does a really good job as Lex in this show. So this is the official synopsis, then we'll go over the sneak peek and some of the teasers that we were able to get out of the Ultimates, the convention I was at just this weekend. Okay, so Lex Luthor returns. Lex Luthor de descends upon Washington DC and summons Lena and Lillian Luthor to the White House. Supergirl realizes she has one last chance to stop Lex and turns to the power of the press to help her. So that's the synopsis and what we know apart from obviously Lex coming back, we know that the Monitor is going to be making an appearance at the end of this episode. We don't know at what point, if it's the final scene or not, but he's supposed to be looking over someone's dead body and spoiler alert, skip like 10 seconds or 15 seconds if you don't want to be spoiled, but here we go, 3, 2, 1 it's supposed to be Lex Luthor's dead body and that is what was apparently spotted on set so yeah spoilers all gone let's go back to what we're going to be talking about and this is the spoilers that were actually given by some of the actors mainly Nicole Maines actually because this is mainly to do with Dreamer so she did a panel today with Andrea and I was there and it was super cool I love these panels at the Ultimates they're great but what they teased was essentially Nicole actually confirmed that Nia and Brainiac 5 are coming back as series regulars for season 5 so that's a big thing they're coming back so that means they'll be fine in the finale nothing's really gonna happen to them and they'll be back for season 5 and I have to say Nia's very much so grown on me and it was so awesome to actually get to meet Nicole in real life today and the last few days it was super cool and yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, very much so looking forward to that, and Brainiac 5. I like Brainiac 5, he's a bit on and off for me, but I do like him at points, and I'm looking forward to seeing more. I just really hope that Wynn comes back, and Monel, you know, he's my thing. And so, also, Nicole actually teased that in the finale, is going to be very tense between Brainy and Nia, and obviously she couldn't say that much, no one really there could say that much, because, you know, the finale's coming, and they can't spoil it, so... Alright, let's go ahead and move past this and go back to the finale and talk about the sneak peek that was just released. So this is another sneak peek we talked about, a leaked version of one that came out the other day, but they officially released that. So you will have the pictures on the screen right now. So essentially what happens in the sneak peek, like I mentioned the other day, is basically this is the confrontation between Lex Luthor going to the now trapped red daughter and she's crying she's been betrayed by Lex Luthor and this betrayal is going to be I think what sets off a potential maybe redemption arc for her or it's going to be her sacrificing herself to protect America but most likely to protect Kara and the real Alex I do think that's probably what's going to happen so yeah I think that's definitely setting off some sort of arc that maybe she could survive and she may go into say crisis as 
becoming power girl or something that's a theory of mine okay so let's move on and talk about this other sneak peek so this other sneak peek teases exactly what's happening before we see that sneak peek we just talked about and so you see red daughter she's wearing a choker she's um all in black she's sort of like very femme fatale like basically very villainous she looks and so she talks about how she failed to kill and do the mission for Lex Luthor to kill Kara Danvers and she failed and so it's at this point that Lex sort of obviously is back he's talking to her and we haven't seen him in a while so it's kind of nice and I think this is going to be rather early in the episode and Lex says I should have known Kryptonite would never kill Kara Danvers her heart, however, makes her weaker than Kryptonite. And then he says, go and finish what we started, you know, very, kind of, very archetypal villain line. And he says, then America will kneel before us. So this is obviously evidently before the first sneak peek we talked about. And you can check out that video, that would mean a lot if you guys did. And so what this sneak peek is teasing, because you see he holds up a photo of Eliza and obviously she met Eliza last episode, so maybe she's coming back or I don't know, this is back in time, not sure. But it seems like Eliza may potentially be killed in this episode, but I think there's a chance that may happen or it, there's obviously a chance it's a flashback and that's what led towards it, but she failed to kill her. And then maybe she comes back and then she meets Lex and this is a flashback to what happened with Eliza and their final fight. But it seems at this point she doesn't have the realisation so I don't see how this is after so I do believe this is a flashback. But she tries to attempt to kill Eliza and we saw that last episode so I think this is a flashback when I'm thinking about it logically. So let me know, do you think it's a flashback in the comments down below? Tell me your opinions. I think it's most likely and so what's happening in the finale let's just talk about a bit more so Lex is back and he's going to be back for just this episode they only were able to negotiate three episodes apparently for Lex in this season and supposedly spoiler alert dun 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 one two three he apparently dies at the end of this episode so it seems like the ending of how this is all going to end is most likely going to be a teaser for Crisis like we've had on Arrow and The Flash and it would kind of make sense for it to be Supergirl but I would like a teaser where it's teasing the villain like that rain teaser at the end of season two. Oh my god that's such a sick ending scene I love that because it was the people like the rain's makers you know putting her into a pod and saying and it will rain and I was like oh my god this is so sick that was such a nice enigmatic ending so like it has a lot of mystery and it obviously teases that it would be rain because you know they specifically choose the words so I think something like that would be very cool but I do believe that uh, you know the f the final shot is probably going to be that final shot that we teased earlier to do with crisis on infinite earths because that is a big thing going forward also Kyla at the event today said that they're going to have a month to shoot crisis which is a few weeks longer like a week and a bit longer than they normally get to shoot so they're shooting five hours for crisis on infinite earths so i wonder with the dead body and if you've watched through this video you know who i'm talking about if that dead body is you know some sort of vision of what's to come or it's actually happening in present day because if the monitor's there it may be present day it seems to be like it's probably present day but it could be dreamer sort of imagining what's to come like dream in the future essentially so i'm not too sure i think we'll definitely have to wait until the episode because there is lots of questions going into this finale like you know how are they going to bring the press into it like what's going to happen to the president is the president going to die is he going to go away i hope so and my hopes going into next season is I think they need a better villain like a villain like Red Daughter the whole season because Red Daughter's great but she just hasn't been around that long and I love her so much if she had been around the whole season I would be so happy like a rain character but yeah so I think they need a good villain I think they should tease it at the end of this finale but most likely it's just going to be a crisis teaser so thank you guys so much for watching 
If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications. I will be at MCM London Comic Con this week, so back at another event, super excited. Stephen Amell, Tyler Hoechlin, Emily Bett Ricards, and all of them lot are going to be there. I'll be there, so tell me if you're going. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram, message me there, or in the YouTube comments, because I check them all the time. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.